All right, everyone, Peach Yow here, and on today's episode uh, with our Royal Enfield Hunter 350, we will be installing an OEM oil sump guard from Royal Enfield. We ordered this directly from Hitchcock Motorcycles. Thank you for sponsoring this video. So let's get to work because this is Peach Yow's Garage. So before we start, we always got to give thanks to our sponsor. So thank you, Hitchcock's Motorcycles, for sponsoring this video and getting us the products that we like and love for the Royal Enfield Hunter 350. Um, just head on over to their website. They got so much stuff. If you guys are thinking about building a Interceptor 650 or currently my favorite bike, my Hunter 350, this the website is the place to go, guys. Great stuff, super fast shipping through DHL if you live on the other side of the pond like I do over here in America. They direct, they ship directly from the UK and they ship fast. I Again, I ordered this I think on Wednesday or Thursday and I literally got it today on Monday. I don't know about you guys, but that when I order anything from anywhere outside of the US, it takes forever. So thank you so much, Hitchcock Motorcycles. Follow the link down below uh, to order your stuff from there. And we will be giving a full, pretty much, uh, breakdown of everything we've uh, installed on this bike, including stuff from outside of Hitchcock Motorcycles. We can't really do much about that. But without further ado, let's get to work. So the Royal Enfield uh, oil sump for the Hunter 350 is kind of an oddity. I'm just going to give you guys a heads up. No manual, no instructions of whatsoever, not even a picture on how to install it. Um, I kind of figured it out already. So the first thing you need to make sure that you do is pre-install all your uh, your brackets and I'll walk you through that but before you do down over here on the front of your bike there's one two rubber grommets they are pretty hidden right there you need to take those two off okay that's for the big bolt that's right here okay and nut those two go together that goes through there and you have to do it on the right side of the bike or on the left side of the bike if you're looking on the other direction. Uh, you have to run it through there because the exhaust is in the way. Once you do that, that'll let you bolt on the uh, <clears throat> this bracket here. So this bracket will have to go on after the fact. Actually, during before you slide that bolt through. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's rubber grommets that you need to install on the actual um, uh, shield itself. So put those in, and then they have uh, metal cert inserts. Now these inserts, I recommend that you install them facing outwards because that's where the nut is going to sit on top of. You guys can see that. The nut will sit on top of that. So make sure that you put the insert facing out and not facing down um, since the other portion will be hitting the actual engine itself. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, not the engine, the uh, plate. This guy right here will be hitting that so there will be no need to worry about it hitting the actual engine itself Okay, again, we'll walk you through the whole process and how all this is installed uh, There is a bolt from the chassis that you have to re uh, not remove but break loose to install the other portion of it We'll walk you through that. So like I was saying um, You're gonna want to put the rubber grommets in here first They give you four for each one of the uh, corners of the uh, skid plate here or a sump guard is what you guys call them. It's, it's a skid plate. You know, so you put the grommet and then you run the metal uh, tap here. And you want to do it like that because this bolt that goes right inside of it has a very small head and it looks a lot better too that way. Um, so just a heads up, that's how you want to do that. Repeat the process on all four and we'll show you guys what to do next. So now that we have all four inserts installed, it's now it's time to get ready to install the sump, uh, the cover onto the front of the bike and then we're going to get ready to install it on the bottom of the bike. Um, like I was saying before, it's a little tricky on the position where it's at, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you guys can see, uh, right here, there's a rubber grommet there and the one right across from it. 
Take those two off. Now you have your metal bracket right here. Run your bolt from this side over. Line that up. Okay, always install everything by hand and don't try to like force anything on. Um, you're gonna install the plate on this side and then let it sit down and then we'll install, get ready to uh, remove the bolts underneath. So now give your uh, skid plate a lineup. Okay, now you guys can see where the uh, where that mounts and how this sits right here. And we still got to line up the other one down below to get all that uh, squared off. Uh, what you want to do, again, I'll show you guys the close up in just a minute. We gotta unbolt this this bolt down here. Again, I'll show you guys up close right now in just a moment. To show you what I mean. So it's gonna be difficult to show you, but the bracket that sits right here, right here at the bottom, uh, make sure um, it's actually you no. Know, I'm gonna take it off. It has to be. So there's two brackets, They're, they only fit in one way. One of them faces down, and the other one faces uh, forward. Uh, so when you mount the one over here, the one with the two hoops goes on this side and you run the bolt through, and that'll go in there. But make sure that the bracket is facing down, because that will put the uh, oil pan, or the skid plate as high up as possible, because you don't want it down low. It won't fit if you do it the other way around. Um, I just found that out. Now down below it's going to be a little bit trickier. I'm trying to see if I can get you guys up close here. So you guys can see right here the bracket is facing down. Um, that's pretty much where that one goes. Now if we go down over here, you guys can see, here it is. You guys can see this bracket here. It's facing that way and then the bolt that's there it's a 17 and a 14 millimeter so remember that um, it's this bolt down here uh, where is it it's kind of tricky it's this one right here this guy goes all the way across to the other side it's held by a 17 and a 15. Do not pull it out or remove it. Um, it's just there for, just put it there, don't, put it, don't pull it out. I'm just telling you guys that right now. And then this guy goes in there and slides in and then you bolt it all back into place. Um, sorry, but it's really, it's getting really dark in here. I'm trying to do the best I can with my light, current lighting, but you'll see, there it is right there. Bolt it on. Again, reverse the bracket so it fits down. And you should be about here by your horn, just so you guys know, by the horn. It should be right there. That's the best spot. That's the highest point with that bracket installed. And then down below, like I was showing you, 
with that bracket right there facing away from the skid plate. That way you can slide, hook it in, slide it, and then you tighten everything down.